Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Tuesday, August the 16th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, to global equity markets, which firmed overnight, US stocks rising led higher by mega cap growth shares as the market extended its recent rally, with investor optimism growing that the Fed can achieve a soft landing for the economy. The Dow ending the session close to half a percent higher, the S&P 500 up a similar amount, while the Nasdaq lifted 0.6 of a percent. Well, shares of Apple climbed 0.6, while Microsoft rose half a percent and Tesla surged more than 3 percent. They gave the S&P 500 and Nasdaq their biggest boosts as Treasury yields eased and China's central bank cut its key lending rate. Well, the consumer staples and utility sector also had strong gains, led by a 1.3 percent rise in Procter & Gamble. However, energy fell 2 percent. US listed shares of China's e-commerce giant Alibaba Group slipped more than half a percent as investors worry about consumer demand in China. Well, US home builders' confidence and factory activity fell in August to their lowest levels since near the start of the pandemic. The New York Fed's Empire State Index on current business conditions plummeted 42.4 points to a reading of negative 31.3 this month, with a reading below zero showing contraction in the manufacturing sector. And the housing market index falling for the eighth consecutive month to below 50, indicating that more builders view conditions as poor than good. And the decision by China's central bank to cut its key lending rate is reverberating through markets as it attempts to boost demand, with data showing the Chinese economy slowed in July, hurt by COVID restrictions and the country's property crisis. Retail sales there, uh, growth in July was much weaker than forecast, while industrial production also missed forecasts. Weak US and Chinese economic data saw US Treasury yields fall, the 10-year sitting at 2.8%, and the two-year has fallen to 3.2%. US dollar strengthened amid that disappointing data. The Aussie dollar currently sitting at 70.8 US cents. Well, the local share market is this morning set to pick up from yesterday's gains. ASX futures currently up around a third of a percent. China's disappointing economic data pushing oil prices sharply lower on expectations of weakening demand. The price of Brent crude down more than 3% to $95 a barrel, close to its lowest level since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And concerns over China's demand also saw iron ore futures fall close to 3% and base metal prices were lower, nickel falling 4.5%. The gold futures price, it's down 1%, and having briefly touched $25,000, Bitcoin has fallen back in trade overnight. Looking at the day ahead, James Hardy has reported its first quarter results, sales rising 19% to just over $1 billion, while it's cut its profit guidance as it records a deterioration in margins. And among the other companies to report today, BHP, Life360 and Seven West Media. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.